Here's the quickest Frost DK guide for DPS. You have Runes, which is essentially just a shared charge system for your abilities. Icy Touch, for example, uses one Frost Rune, while Howling Blast uses one Frost and one Unholy Rune. Managing these runes is the most difficult part of playing a Death Knight. Some talents give specific abilities the ability to turn a rune into a rainbow death rune, allowing, for example, a blood rune to be used as a frost rune. You also have runic power for your filler abilities and utility. This is your talent building glyphs. You'll almost always be in blood presence while DPSing. Your single target opener goes like this. Always start with icy touch and plague strike to get your diseases up. Use unbreakable armor with blood tap. Obliterate once, refresh and spread your diseases with pestilence, and lastly, refresh your runes with empowered rune weapon to get three more obliterates, finishing the opener. After the opener, you follow a six step priority list. First, if missing, apply diseases with Icy Touch and Plague Strike. Second, obliterate as much as possible. Third, use pestilence if your diseases need to be refreshed. If not, cast Blood Strike. Fourth, if you have a Killing Machine proc, cast Frost Strike. Fifth, if you have a Rhyme proc, cast Howling Blast. And finally, sixth, dump your Runic Power with Frost Strike. For AoE, the priority list is even easier. First, if missing, apply your diseases with Icy Touch and Plague Strike. Second, refresh and spread your diseases with Pestilence. Third, spam Howling Blast as often as possible, making sure to use Empowered Rune Weapon and Blood Tap to refresh your runes to get even more Howling Blast. Now for your CDs. Anti-Magic Shell reduces incoming damage, generating Runic Power. Raise Dead can be used for a little extra damage or as an emergency heal using this Death Pack macro. Unbreakable Armor gives you increased armor and strength, making it a pretty big DPS increase for 20 seconds. Icebound Fortitude is your big CD, which reduces all incoming damage by 30%. And Army of the Dead can be used at your own risk. So which class should I do next? And subscribe for more Wrath Guides.